Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Five Ways video by Attack Magazine. This is the series where we show you five different ways to use a particular piece of gear. Today, we'll be taking a look at Polyspace by Karanyi Sounds. This is a reverb plugin that uses DSP algorithms and vivid impulse responses to create a beautiful array of rich, detailed and atmospheric reverb tales. So let's not waste any time and just jump straight into sound number one. Let's kick off then by applying polyspace to some chords and engage some of the controls. Incredibly simple in its application, the focus with this plugin is very much on sound quality. The magnitude control will take the sound from a subtle reverb right up to something much more epic, whilst the longitude control will both smoothen and lengthen the resulting reverb effect. Clicking the cloud will turn the plugin on and off, whilst an additional output knob helps us balance the overall level. Very handy when the dry wet control is pushed right up and you lose some of the level as a result. And as you can hear as we AB, we've been able to quickly introduce a lovely amount of depth and space to this chord sound. For our second sound then, we'll take a look at the various different algorithms included in Polyspace and how these can completely switch up the vibe of the plugin. We can access these by heading into the drop down. The different algorithms are organized into self-explanatory long, medium and short categories. This really has to be the most unique feature of this unit, as each algorithm has its own unique sound, and as such will alter how the longitude and magnitude controls affect the reverb. Settling on the Geosphere algorithm with both a decent amount of magnitude and longitude, this is working nicely on this modulated pad sound. In this third example, we'll try gating the polyspace reverb for an 80s style gated reverb effect. To achieve this sound, we'll need to employ the plugin on a bus send that we can treat independently from the sound source itself. Taking this snare, we send a portion to our bus send where we have an instance of polyspace loaded. With the Bright M Sky algorithm dialed in, we roll up the out slightly, set the magnitude to two thirds and the longitude a little higher. Seeing as this is a bus send effect, we need to make sure the dry wet is swept all the way up. So we're only sending the wet signal through here. And after the reverb, we place a noise gate this will gate the reverb effect when the signal goes below a certain dB. A great technique for a big, obvious, retro influence reverb effect. Excellent for snare drums. Okay, so for this fourth sound, we'll take a look at the smart random button to quickly provide some inspiration using the plugin. Loading the reverb effect on this vocal after a resonant auto filter will attempt to create an otherworldly ethereal reverb effect. The random button will randomize the loaded algorithm and magnitude and longitude controls which allows us to set a fairly high dry wet value whilst experimenting with some different flavors. Of course, once randomized, if we want to tweak anything to further customize the resulting sound, we can do. Mm. 
but we're going to settle with what we have here a nice otherworldly ethereal reverb effect completely transforming this vocal sound For our fifth and final sound, we'll try an age-old yet tried and tested technique, the reverse reverb. This workflow always functions better with a reverb such as Polyspace that is capable of fairly cavernous tails. The longer the reverb tail, the more of a reverse build we'll have to play with when we're creating our effect. The idea here is to add the reverb effect in reverse. This can be achieved by reversing the sound we're applying the reverb to, in this instance this snare sound. Once reversed, we add the reverb, setting a very extreme effect. We then need to bounce or print the reverb tail. Once we have the audio back in our project, we then reverse it again, thus applying the effect in reverse. An excellent method for generating reverb builds in an arrangement to help introduce or break up different sections. Okay, that's it for this five ways video using Polyspace. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest news from Attack Magazine. And of course, if you're interested to learn more about Polyspace, We've also dropped a link below in the description box to the Karanyi Sounds website so you can go and take a look in more detail.